Hello everyone. Tonight is the beginning of the seventh day, night of Pesach, the seventh day of Pesach tomorrow, and 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 then there will be the eighth day of Pesach. Now we know why do we? What's so special about seventh day of Pesach? Seventh day, seventh day of Pesach is when Jewish people cross the Yamsuf, and when the waters opened up, and the Jews crossed through the Yamsuf through the. Uh, uh, sea, of, sea of reeds and they were able to and then after they they, they passed they said a special song to Hashem they said they said Shirat Ayam. now but before it happened Paro he ran after the Jewish people he ran after them and 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 when the Jewish people came to to the Yamsuf uh, you know there was a water in front of them, in the back of them, was uh, Paro with his army, and then and then there was a desert, you know, on the sides with wild animals. So Jews had nowhere to go. So what did they do? It says we tzaku b'nei Israel and Hashem, and Jewish people they screamed, yeah, they they cried out to Hashem, they cried out to Hashem. Now Rashi. On the spot, you know, he he, he quotes Yalkut Shimoni that says, "Tafsu umnut avotam," which means they adopted the craft of their forefathers. Yeah, meaning the the avot, which means the forefathers, Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, and they always, whenever they needed something, they would daven to Hashem. They would always daven to Hashem. So the Jewish people also, they took whatever their whatever their forefathers did. They also took that. They took that craft. They took that um, umnut, and they and they also did the same thing. They said, if this is good for our forefathers, and this is how they communicated with Hashem, so too we'll do the same thing. And they pray to Hashem and they cry to Hashem. And of course, we know what happened. The the sea split. And the Jewish people were able to cross the, through the Yamsuf. Now, uh, 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 Rav Nossen uh, he says, we'll learn from you a powerful lesson that uh, 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 that a, a, a craft is once a trade, which means a, a person has a job and he has a profession, you know, He's a craftsman. He does something, and through that, he makes living. He uses that to make his living. Now, um, uh, so we we'll learn from here that uh, uh, we we'll learn from this Rashi that Jewish people they used their forefathers' craft, which means they use their umnut, the profession, the profession. Jewish people's prof the, the, our forefathers' profession was to pray. So Jewish people also use that prayer; they used it, yeah. To to, to uh, they use that craft to pray to Hashem and to connect to Hashem. Now, so a person, for example, if he has a business, he will do everything to make that business successful. He will do everything that business should go smoothly. He will be on top of it. He won't be. He won't take it lightly he'll be everything will be on time everything will be like it's supposed to be done why because this is he wants that business to be successful that's his trade that is his profession he wanted to be very successful so too with us davening should not be any different from it yeah a person when he comes and he skips davening he skips corners, he skips this, he, he davens fast, he doesn't concentrate, which means you are taking your craft, whatever is your, um, whatever is your trade, you're taking it and you're not using it properly. You're cutting corners. A person is cutting corners. If a person does the same thing by business, if he skips, or let's say he's not concentrated in his business, or let's say if a person, he you know, he was angry a day before, he can't put those thoughts 
and, and, and deal with his customers the same way. No, he has to change. He has to become different. So too with our prayer. We have to treat it as, as our trait. We have to treat it as our business. We have to treat it as something, you know, something that's part of our, you know, trade. And therefore, a person has to be much, much careful when he prays with, you know, not to cut corners, not to, to put more concentration. Why? Because this is our trade. The prayer is our trade. And this is a very powerful lesson that we learn. So Pesach, you know, Pesach. Pesach comes from the word Pesach. A, 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 a mouth, Sach, always telling over the stories. But also it's a time of prayer. The seventh day of Pesach is the time when we cry to Hashem. We, we you know, we, 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 Hashem. we pray to Hashem. And that, and through that, we got great miracles happening to us by the Yamsu. So this is the lesson that we learn. It's something that we should take with us and, and use it and utilize it. And, and hopefully Hashem will make great miracles for us. And with the coming of Mashiach, Amen. Have Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.